Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I do all things plus size fashion, beauty, and mom lifestyle. If any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a Torrid jean try-on haul. So I shopped at Torrid, I think it was like four years ago, for the first and only time ever. I bought two pairs of jeans and I just did not love them. And to be fair, they held up very well. To this day, I still have them, I still can wear them. They're almost in perfect condition. I don't know if that's because how nice they are or because I really didn't wear them too much, but they are very expensive. So that was always what's hard is they range from like 60 to a hundred dollars. So uh, yeah, I really wanted to try them again and see if they're worth the money and anything like that. So I got four pairs. They were having a buy one, get one half off sale. So for these four pairs, I spent $225. So it was about, uh, what, a little bit under $60 for each pair, which really isn't that bad, but still pretty pricey. So let's try them on. I have not tried these on yet, you guys, only the ones that I have on right now. So it's new to me. It's new to you. Let's do it. Okay, so I wanted to start off by mentioning that I am five foot two and I'm typically a size 16. I will put my measurements in the description bar because I've had a lot of requests to put my measurements in there. So I will definitely get a tape measure and put those in there for you guys. And yeah, I typically wear a size 16, but my Torrid was sold out of everything they were sold out of 16s and 18s so they basically had like 14s and 20s so i decided to go with the 14s so they might be a little bit tight but um they still fit better than the 20s would so yeah with all that aside let's get into the first pair um which are what i have on right now and these are called the it just says jegging, so this is what the tag looks like. If you can see that, it literally just says Torrid Denim Jegging on it. And these are like a very, very dark blue wash. So almost black, but dark blue. And this is what the top looks like. So it is three buttons. And other than that, like all of the... um. All of the, what am I thinking of? Stitching is the same color as the actual jean. So it kind of is just all one color. So these are really great if you're just looking for that standard, almost black pair of denim. So this is what they look like from up close. This is the back. And let me move you down just a little bit so you can see how far they go down. Okay, so this is what they look like in full. These are the size 14S, so 14 short, and they fit me perfect. If I rolled these, they would be capris. So the length is right at my ankle, and like I said, I am 5'2". So yeah, they are nice. Um, the price of these is $59.50 which isn't super crazy, but I just really wouldn't pay that for these. They almost feel, I don't know how to describe it, but pretty stiff. When I think of a jegging, I think of something that I can, you know, really move around in, and these just feel so much more like a jean. So they also don't go up very high, and I have this problem with my Torrid jeans, um, that I got years ago is I just was very, I, I don't like where they sit. They're not super high-waisted and these say high-waisted. So yeah, I don't know. They're definitely not my favorite. I will not be keeping these, but they're not bad. It's just compared to American Eagle jeans. I don't know you guys, they're not it. <laughs> but yeah, that is the first pair of jeans. 
Okay, so the next pair of jeans we have are these ones. And these are the Torrid Boyfriend Crop. And let me tell you, I do not like these at all. Only get these if you like jeans that are very low-waisted. If you can see where they sit, like my belly button is right here and they're right there. So they sit super low. I don't know, it's so uncomfortable. I don't know if that's just the boyfriend style of jeans. I've never tried on boyfriend jeans before, but I wanted to give them a go because I was like, maybe they're kind of like mom jeans. But no, yeah, these are just not it. They're very comfortable though. They're super comfortable. Um, I like the way that the distressing looks and I like the length of the crop. So yeah, these ones I got in a size 14 as well and they were $69.50 which is very expensive. Just, I'm kind of just comparing these to American Eagle jeans um, at this point. And I don't know you guys, but this is what the back looks like. So I just feel like it's not really doing anything for, you know, my hips or my butt. And I don't know if that's just the style of the boyfriend jean. I'm pretty sure that boyfriend jeans are meant for people without um, hips and butts. So like for straighter bodies. So this might be perfect for that. But yeah, not for me. Let's try on the next pair. Okay, so next we have this beautiful black pair of distressed skinny jeans. So these are labeled as the Sky High Skinny and they were $79.50. So what really drew me to these is two things. First of all, that they said sky high skinny. So in my mind, I'm like, these about to be some hot jeans. And second of all, they are jet black. These jeans are super, super black, which I don't know if it's hard for you guys, but I feel like I can never find some black skinny jeans. I feel like every time I find jeans, they are like an off black gray kind of color. So these ones are black as night. So my only problem with these is I do not believe that they are sky high. They sit basically where any like high waisted jeans would sit. Um, I was thinking that they would be like the ultra high ones from American Eagle that I got, but I don't know. There could be another higher rise of Torrid, but the sky high just isn't cutting it for me. And um, these ones are a little bit too cropped. So I also got these in the 14 shorts and they're just a little bit too short. Um, yeah, I'm not obsessed with the length and this is what the back looks like. So I just, I really don't feel like they're doing anything for my body. Um, they're okay. What I'm finding with these jeans is they just feel pretty stiff. So I don't know. I like them, but I just don't love them for $80. That just seems too overpriced for this pair of jeans. Oh, you guys, I'm kind of sad. Like I wanted this to go better but it's just not. And I just did my American Eagle one, like what, a week or two ago? And that one went so much better than this. <laughs> so let's try on the last pair and then we will wrap it up with some final thoughts. Okay, so now on to the final pair of jeans that I purchased. And these ones are called the Bombshell Skinny and they were $89.50. So the most expensive pair, and I can honestly say definitely the best pair. These are the most comfortable, the easiest to put on. Um, I feel like the length of them is perfect. It's not too short, it's not too long. And I got these in a 14S as well. And yeah, um, definitely for me, not worth $90, but they are nice. So they're very comfortable. I feel like I can move around a lot more in them. Um, still, none of these, I can just like kick my legs and do all of the things. These all feel like jeans. So these feel like sturdy, sturdy jeans. And to me, these go up 
exactly where the um, sky high black ones went. So they literally stop at the same exact place. And this is what the back looks like. So yeah, nothing super special. Like these are nice and I feel like they'll definitely hold up, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not really feeling it, but it could just be because I got a size 14 in all of these. And if I got a 16, they might be higher and I might like them more. It could just be because they are a size too small, but um, yeah, let's give our final thoughts. Okay, so that is every pair of Torrid denim that I picked up. And final thoughts, uh, you know what I mean? I'm just not obsessed. Will I be spending my money on their jeans again? Probably not. Um, I am really on the hunt for like the best plus size jeans. And so far, American Eagle has one, but we're gonna keep trying, keep seeing if we can get more. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just not that excited. My neighbor is starting to mow right now, so I'm going to finish this up. If you guys like these, let me know. Comment down below your favorite plus size jeans. I would love to try them. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.